And charged with burning two historic churches in Douglas was back in court. In recent hearings, the court ordered Ridenour uh, to take a second competency test. The doctor who supposed uh, was supposed to conduct that test sent a letter to the court saying that that uh, the suspect declined the meeting. News for Tucson's Megan Spector joins us now live at the federal courthouse. And Megan, tell us what happened in court today. Yeah, well, Sean, ultimately the judge chalked it up to a bit of misunderstanding, but Rittenauer stood up in court today and said that he's frustrated with the court's communication. No cameras are allowed inside the federal court, but I sat in the courtroom Tuesday morning for the latest hearing. The topic at hand, why Eric Rittenauer declined his second competency test ordered by the court. After a closed-door conversation between the judge, Rittenauer, and Rittenauer's appointed advisory counsel, the judge said he believes there was a misunderstanding and ordered the psychologist to make a second attempt as soon as possible. Rittenauer agreed with these terms. However, when the judge made a routine comment saying if there are any changes to the date of the next status conference, he'll be informed, Rittenauer spoke out and questioned if he would be. He added that he's, quote, losing my confidence in the system's ability to notify me and said he was not notified the first time about the evaluation. When the judge said the communication will go through his appointed advisory council, Rittenauer said he represents himself. And then he said he believes the court is doing everything in their power to take away his freedom of speech and religion. Despite this frustration, the hearing ended solidifying a date for the next status conference with enough time to have the evaluation. Now over in Douglas, the mayor telling me his community continues to be resilient in their efforts to support these two churches. The city remains strong, they remain positive, they have hope for the future, they're not dwelling on the past. It's still something that, that hurts as we drive by it on a daily basis, but knowing that we're standing together gives us all great comfort. The status conference is set for April 12th, and that competency excuse me, examination will be done before that. Now, I did reach out to the U.S. Department of Justice to find out what exactly comes next after this exam, and they tell me that if competent, he'll proceed to trial. But if he's found not competent, he'll be sent to a restoration at a federal facility. Live from downtown, Megan Spector, News 4, Tucson. Thank you, Megan. And those two historic churches in Douglas were set on fire.